Chad Dukes. There's a lot of questions here. Oh, that's Dukes? I have no idea. I'm going to do radio the way I know how to do radio. Versus the world. Washington, D.C. Where the nickel size hell in the damaging winds. We rode over New York, they ain't ever gonna let us back in. Well, we blew out the lights, kicked the windows in. And when the law showed up, he said, You're gonna have to take us in. They're all scared of my music, they're terrified of my. Like a big storm's coming in Better lock up your liquor And keep your women mean You better find you a basement This is the worst storm you ever seen We're the nickel size hell In the damaging winds We rode over Hollywood They ain't ever gonna let us back in Well we blew out Show. That is the way you start a radio show. Gentlemen, thank you thank so you. much. That was awesome. That is Sonny Ledford and his tremendous band. Follow them on Twitter at Sonny Ledford. They are playing Hill Country Barbecue tonight. Northwest DC. Show is at 10 p.m. For tickets and more information, you can go to SonnyLedford.com. And I've seen these gentlemen several times live in person. Even if that's the only song you know. Check them out. Incredible energy, incredible stuff live. Uh, Sonny, thanks so much for coming in, first and foremost. Thanks for having me. Yeah, pull that mic right down for you there. They didn't do a good job of micing you. I apologize thanks for that. Thanks for having me. I know you're a big sports fan. That's right. So is it as big a thrill for you as it is for me to be inside the sports station? You know, it really is. And to be in D.C. of all places, I'll tell you, it's like, you know, as a kid, I always dreamed of playing in an RFK stadium. Really? You know? Yeah, with the Cowboys. <sighs> all right, let's get to this. <laughs> yeah, let's get it out of the way. As you just, uh, for those of you that don't know, Sonny's a Cowboys fan, and he's from North North Carolina, Tennessee. Like, it's kind of a mesh of those two. What Take me through the process, because I have a policy on my show that if you're not from Dallas and you call here as a Cowboys fan, get the dial tone. 
That's pretty much the way that goes. I'd make an exception for you, of course. Well, my grandfather was a cowboy. A literal, like a... Uh, yes, cowboy. Like riding a horse? Yes. All right. And That's something. Growing up, you know, I was born in 1974. So, you know, the late 70s, getting into football, the imagery, cowboys, you know, and then... It was either the Steelers, the Redskins, or the Cowboys, and I, I chose Dallas. So just, it, it just makes me distraught. So you got to be thrilled, though, with the, this year. They've turned it around. People are screaming about it. It's the 90s again. DeMarco Murray is going to rush for 15,000 yards. I mean, it must be a wonderful time they're, for they're, you. They're taking a little too far right there. It's not the <laughs> 90s again. <laughs> I think so, too. Um, but you don't, uh, you know. You I don't... think we're more like the Danny White Cowboys right okay. now. Okay. It's like more like 80 through 83. That, I think I'm we're, very we're familiar a, with those Cowboys. We should have a stretch like that coming up. You know, the Redskins were fairly successful against those Cowboys. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember the NFC Championship. You're a big uh, hoops guy. Well, I got you in here. What do you make of everybody uh, crushing Kobe Bryant, saying he shouldn't have taken all that money, that he's crippled his team, that his ego is out of control? Do you buy into that whole storyline? Yes and no. I mean, uh, he's getting his money. Like, I mean, I think that's what players are going to do these days you're going to see more and more of that i think in back in the day you had more athletes had more, a little more respect and they didn't want to just clean the system out like, yeah you know now kobe's i mean steve nash is still getting paid yeah i'm a big steve and nash he's 40 fan, but he's just he's using the lakers as an atm and he can't stay on the court although no one i mean we'd all t- cash that check i mean i'm not going to sit there and put a, a pistol up to his head and say well you have <laughs> to take this money i mean he's just doing what any of us would do um as far as being in the music business right now, you guys make your living touring, driving around, coming to places like yeah. this. How difficult is it to be a band right now when if everyone wants to, if they're you know dishonorable, they can go steal your music. They can go out there and, and download it for free. They don't have to buy the albums. You literally have to make... Not only that, like, you know, I, I put out Pontoon Boat in 2007. Yeah. You know, in the last year, a couple of years ago, some... Little big town? Yeah. You know, Pontoon, and they're talking about... Who wants to go skiing? It's like, it's crazy. Like, they basically just looked at it and, you know, it's it happens all the time. And just as far as people going and getting music free, that, that's just the way it is now. I, I'm, I can't complain about that. But you that. prefer they pay for the albums on iTunes or something. Sure. Yeah. But, but, but just I, more things like when we come through, come to the show. Yeah. You know? And they're playing in D.C. <laughs> and uh, I, can't, I can't endorse the live product enough. It's tonight. I'll be at the show uh, with a bunch of listeners at Hill Country Barbecue. Um, and as far as D.C. goes, I think it's a pretty good town for you guys. Uh, it's, it's, well one of, it's, it's one of our top markets in the country, really. It's like we, we always have a, a good crowd here and a good time. Not a week goes by, where because I use the song, of course, from my intro, as you know, um, where someone goes, hey, you know about Sonny. You know, where did you find out about him? It's like you have like a little weird cult. Yeah, it's, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I mean, that is a compliment. Yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm trying to avoid the mainstream. Excellent. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. Well, you're doing a, a great job and also <laughs> putting out good stuff. Um, follow him on Twitter. Uh, put him over for coming live in the studio. The boys came all the way up from these seats at Sonny Ledford and then SonnyLedford.com for information. The show is tonight at Hill Country Barbecue. Can't thank all you guys enough for coming in and doing the intro live. Uh, we'll play it probably a thousand times on the show. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. You guys are the best. That's Sonny Ledford. You're listening to Chad Dukes versus the world. I'll set up the show next. Monday. Tune into 1067 The Fan all day for Washington Game Day Uncensored. It's Dallas Week. And we'll get you ready for Monday Night Football with football talk all day. Featuring the sports junkies, Grant and Danny, and Chad Dukes, plus former Redskins greats, LaVar Arrington and Fred Smoot. After the game, we'll take your calls and bring the latest in the locker room with Brian McNally live from Dallas. Get the most Redskins talk in D.C. on your home for Monday Night Football and the National Football League. Sports Radio, 106.7.